She's the money miracles expert on The Greatest Show of All Time on WABC Radio in New York City, the CEO of Taxinista, Angela Sticka Snyder. Thank you, everybody. Money, 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 money. To me, it is all about money. <laughs> how much money you have, how much money you don't have, how much money you make, how much things cost, what you spend, what you spend it on. Don't get me wrong, I'm not shallow. I grew up in Sarasota, Florida, where you either lived in a mansion or you lived in a shack. And we lived in an orange-colored shack with one little AC, the wall unit, that was supposed to cool the entire house. We drove a uh, Datsun B210, a little brown one with no AC or radio in South Florida. I would roll up the windows, put my boom box in the back, get it going, put on the vent so it's nice hot air, humid too, driving down the road. I'm driving down the road, I think I'm so cool. We were also so poor that we had termites in our house. I came home from school one day with my friends and they're all flying over on the family room. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I call my mom. I'm like, mom, what are all these things flying in the house? She goes, sweetheart, those are just termites. Just get the vacuum and suck them all up. It'll be just fine. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, my friends do not live like this. When you have no money, that becomes your focus. Everything becomes about money. And while I did grow up poor, I learned incredible life lessons. My mother was a single mom at the time. My natural father had passed away. And uh, she worked seven days a week as a secretary. She worked all the time. She never complained. She just worked. So I started to model my education after what I learned and what I saw. I mean, let's face it. You don't get spring break off. You don't get fall break two months in the summer. I mean, we eventually do once we do better in life. But in real life, when you're starting off, you don't. So I went to summer school. But I went to summer school because I loved it. I graduated high school at the age of 16. I went off to college and graduated at the age of 19 um, with my bachelor's in accounting. Took a little time off, I went to culinary school, just because I like to cook. But then I got my master's degree in taxation at the age of 21. Yes, taxation. Somebody's got to do it, OK? <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> so that's where my mission started, because I wanted to help people learn more about money and earn more money. Everybody's here as a business owner. As a business owner, you start off and you have this dream. You have this idea. I see it every day when people come into my office. You know how to make money. You know what you do. You know how to get clients. But what you don't know is you don't know and you don't deal with the rules and the regulations until that little letter comes in the mail. And I see heads, heads nodding, OK? Because I know there's some people that have seen that. So you get this little letter in the mail, and poof, everything that was going so well is no longer going so well. And that's where I come in. Me and my office and my team, we love the nitty gritty. We love finding errors. It's such a charge. It is, it's so much fun to find items that are missing, to find things that you can do better, to find, because you don't know what you don't know. We like to help you find and avoid expensive business mistakes, which is actually the name of my book that's in your bag. Because, like I said, you don't know what you don't know. So let's hear some stories. You guys want to hear some stories? Yeah. Everybody loves story time, OK? And you know what? You guys are going to hear yourselves in some of these stories. And just know you're not alone. I'm here to talk and chat. Uh, but let's, ta let's tell some stories. OK, I have this one client that insisted that all of his workers were contractors. He had contractor agreements. You know, he was quite insistent with me. And I pushed back for a long time. But you can only lead a horse to water. You cannot force them to drink. Until finally, he was audited. 
and now he's dealing with a half a million dollar back tax, back payroll tax bill. Payroll taxes, those are called trust fund taxes, which means it's other people's money, okay? So you can't even get rid of that in a bankruptcy or an offering compromise, of which I do have 100% success rate on the offering compromises that I do take on. Okay, another one. He tried to deduct season tickets to the uh, Phoenix Suns tickets in fall as a deduction. The IRS didn't like that too well. So I got together and came up with a great strategy. And we strategized and got it deductible as half rent and half as an employee benefit. We have this other client. They thought they knew their numbers. They came to us because they were losing money. He thought he was spending 15% on labor, 30% on materials. I went in and did a complete analysis. He was 12% over. 12% which should have been his profit. He thought he knew his numbers. He didn't know his numbers. It is crucial that you have a system that you look at your numbers. You don't think you know your numbers. Look at them. You do not want to end up like one of my clients or worse, like a lot of celebrities have. Even Wesley Snipes spent three years in jail. Did you guys know that? Spent three years in jail. And when you get out of jail, you still owe the tax. Okay, and then restitution and all that other stuff. So, I've been doing this for 30 years, or actually 29, okay, 29. But might as well round up. And in this audience here, okay, there is at least 20 of you. There's 20 in this audience that are behind in taxes and that owe a lot or they're dealing with an issue with the IRS. And trust me, if I'm looking at you, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> you, don't have, you don't have the IRS beacon on your head, I promise you, okay? But everything's confidential. No, you're far from alone and you got a lot of other people next to you in here like this. I've never had a client audited in 30 years. I've done a lot of audits but I've never had a client audited. Why don't you let Taxanista take the monkey off your back so you can get back to doing what you do best. Thank you very much.